This is my server Clash Gens. It had over 300 players, made thousands of dollars, but it took hundreds of hours to create. And this is why I've decided to challenge myself to make a Minecraft server, but only in one day. Can I do it? Well, of course I can. It's me. For the last two years, Minecraft have made a mob vote server on Bedrock Edition. As you guys can see here, there is a mob vote server. You could also do parkour. And on top of that, there were mini games to play as well. And pretty much, I'm going to be doing something very similar, but for Christmas. And here is the server. It is ugly, I know. And this is the console. This is where I'm going to be making the server. So if I go over to files, I can add plugins that I need. Uh, I need to add script. And script will allow me to code the server. I have downloading script. I'm also going to need script add-ons. SKP is going to get downloaded. SK query, let's get that downloaded. I'm going to drag and I'm going to drop. Yeah, there you go. The three plugins have been added. Restart. If I do slash plugins. We have SKB, SK query, and script. Anyways, you guys might be wondering why did I start doing the challenge at 10 p.m.? Is because I'm going to be contacting a builder. And what she's going to do is because she's in a time zone seven or nine hours behind me, while I'm sleeping, she's going to be making the map. So when I wake up in the morning, I'll have a solid 12 to 10 hours to code the server. Before I go to bed, I'm going to try to get some work done. So the first thing I'm going to do is fix this ugly tab. Plugins, tab, uh, config. And then over here, I can make it look a lot nicer. Okay, so I've given the server a bit of a better tablet. It is way, way better than before. Now the only thing left to do is wait for the builder to complete the map. Okay, I'm online. I've just got on. Anyways, I got a message from the builder last night saying she doesn't know if she can finish it off by the time I get online. So uh, hopefully it is done. Christmas event. Three, two, one. This looks amazing. We have the little snowman at the left here, which is where parkour is going to be going around. We have uh, the Grinch's cave in the middle and on the right we have a bunch of presents. The spawn is incomplete. The first thing I need to do is just complete the spawn. Alright, this is what I've built for now. It doesn't look amazing, but I really don't have much time. So what I want to do now is I want to add models in the server. I want to make a parkour going around this huge snowman. And instead of making it so you're parkouring on normal Minecraft block, I want people to parkour on custom models. I also want to get custom snowmen to put around the spawn. This is going to be what the players are hunting. And then I also want to do a game of Whack a Grinch. Anyways, we're going to go speak to the modeler now. I then spoke to the modeler who showed me examples of what he could make. Make. He then got started on making the snowmen along with other models that I would require. Duck is now working on making the snowmen. While he does that, I'm going to code the actual joining system. So, anyway, so when the player joins, we're going to teleport player to spawn. So now I add the code into the server here. And I can set the spawn here by doing set spawn to player's location. We now spawn exactly at the spawn point. We're going to give the server a nice scoreboard and we're going to make chat look nice as well. So, I've finished doing the scoreboard to a part that I like. At the same time, I've done something else. I've done something very unique with the chat. If I say a message, there's always a little bit of green text at the bottom of the screen that is pinned there. So pretty much, I can advertise what I want and players will always see it. Apparently, Doc said he's finished the first model, so we're going to go check that out. All right, you finished the first wow. model, right? Yes, I have. We're going to hide 15 of these cute little snowmen around spawn. You're going to have to find them, right click them, and then you found them. I then started finding locations to place all the 15 snowmen along with also placing down all of the parkour blocks. Okay, so it's been a little bit longer than I was expecting, but me and Duck changed this server a lot. We've completely revamped the spawn. The old spawn just looked way too ugly in 2012. We have hidden all the snowmen around the map, and I've been working on the parkour. As you guys can see here, here is a race NPC and the custom block platforms. Now, is actually, it's time to start coding the server. We're going to start off with the mini game over here, which is going to be Whack the Grinch. I then started coding the Whack a Grinch game mode, and I also coded the snowmen and the parkour system, and this pretty much took me to the end of the event. Okay, I'm back, and there is only about 30 minutes left until this challenge ends. As you guys can see over here, we have a Whack a Grinch game mode. If I click and talk to this NPC, so I have to hit all the Grinches and you will see there's the first Grinch. Oh, and if you hit Santa, you fail the game. Anyways, it should spawn right in front of me. Not that Santa. Do not hit Santa. Okay, Grinch. Okay, Grinch. 
Yes, I did it. As simple as that. And the next thing I've done is I've hidden all snowmen. And I'm going to show you guys exactly where they are. So the first snowman is here. The second one is over here on the ice ring. The third one is behind the tree over here. The fourth one is next to the snowman parkour. And now to get to the fifth snowman, you're going to have to complete the easy parkour. Start this parkour. And as you guys can see with the parkour, I have used the chat to constantly pin the information of the parkour in the bottom left. It shows you how long and what checkpoint you're on. And... I've completed the parkour and I can also get my fifth snowman over here. Now, you're going to want to jump down here in this house. There's also one in this house over here. Once you leave the house, you're going to want to go over here, complete the parkour, go across this bridge, collect this snowman, jump down, collect this snowman. Then there's a snowman over here. There's also a snowman over here. There's another snowman over here. There are a lot of snowmen. The 13th snowman is behind the present parkour or on the right. And the 14th snowman is at the top of the hard parkour. And this is the really difficult one. So I will do it first try. Yes. Okay. And then up here. And I've completed the hard parkour. And on top of that, I'm going to collect my 14th snowman. And the final snowman to collect is over here back at spawn. If you check it out behind spawn, there is a snowman down here. You jump down here. Click on him. And you found all the snowmen. I want to show you this. This is how I create custom music. So have a listen to what I've added. That is when you fail a quest or a challenge. That is once you've completed a challenge. That is when you find a snowman. Now, I'm going to create a sound right now. And this sound is going to be once you've completed every single challenge. Oh, here, here. Let's use bell and let's use chime. So. Ooh. Now that is what we're going to play once you've completed the game. This should sound perfect. Yes, this sounds amazing. The server's pretty much finished. All I've got to do now is get players online. With the server now done, it was time to do a beta release. And I decided to stream the release as a little cheat code to get players online. But the release didn't come without its problems. I think they are on Mineheart. Only Mineheart people can join. Yeah, but it didn't send me. What the fudge? If you guys complete all the challenges, you'll get added to a prize pool and you'll have a chance to win actual money. You can do a game of Whack a Grinch. Uh-oh, more than one can do it at the same time. Did I not set a limit? Wait, why is he there? Well, that's broken. <laughs> I'm going to kick you guys all out in a minute. So, uh, yeah, I'm stuck in the void hell. I need to code that as well. Anyways, I did it. If you want to see me make a full-on server in only one week, well, then let me know in the comments. I might be willing to do that. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, click on my last video where I joined a lifestyle server and got maximum harm in only 24 hours. It was a good video. Go click it, otherwise I will click on you.